Well, good morning. You've just seen some lovely pictures there of George the War Horse, which stands proudly uh, next to the Barber Institute here in the village of Tattenhall. And it's obviously to remember the fallen horses of our conflicts. And tomorrow is Remembrance Sunday. Um, every year on Remembrance Sunday, I used to like to go to the ceremonies uh, to remember the fallen. Unfortunately, now, obviously, down to COVID, um, we can't quite remember them the same this year. So I have got my own way of remembering, and I'll share that with you in a moment. Um, you'll remember a couple of years ago, I went to the Anderton Boatlift, and they did a Remembrance celebration up there, where all the poppies, thousands of poppies, were thrown off the top of the boatlift to remember the boatman that paid the ultimate sacrifice. Sadly, there is no memorial to these uh, brave people uh, because they were technically homeless. They lived on their boats and were of no fixed abode. So, uh, yeah, it was a fitting way to remember them and very, very emotional. I don't think there was uh, many dry, dry eyes there. But yes, tomorrow, Remembrance Sunday, and of course, Wednesday, the 11th, are both, both days of remembrance. Not only do we remember the people, the brave men and women, that paid the ultimate sacrifice, but of course, the brave warriors of the animal kingdom. Uh, the horses, the mules, the dogs played several roles, indeed, even in modern day conflicts, are still doing the same and paying the price. Right down to the humble little carrier pigeon um, that used to carry the messages from the trenches. We will always remember them. Um, my dad sadly passed away some time ago um, and he was very, very, very proud of his time in the services. He was actually in the RAF regiment and was an aircraft gunner and saw service in both Cyprus and Egypt and was always very proud of it and used to love the Remembrance Sunday celebrations, if you like, and he used to go on march with all his, his former colleagues proudly wearing their blazers and uniforms and berries to remember the fallen. Sadly, obviously, every year there's less and less of them. But my dad was always very proud of his time in the RAF. Um, sadly, he passed away and when his house was empty, some not very nice people uh, robbed his house, house, burgled his house and took a lot of his prized possessions, including his medals, and my granddad's medals, including the Burma Star. So unfortunately, I'm unable to wear them or show them to my grandson uh, and to pass them down. Um, when um, on Remembrance Sunday, my sister has a lovely way of remembering, uh, remembering him and the fallen by putting my dad's blazer on proud display. Uh, so uh, he, she always presses it, gets it out of the wardrobe, presses it and uh, displays it every Remembrance Sunday. So in, in a way, my dad is still on parade on Remembrance Sunday. It's a lovely way of remembering him. Um, I've got my own way of doing it. Unfortunately, when my dad passed away, I only inherited, well, I got three things of my dad's that I can remember him by. Uh, I had a pint glass. My dad used to like a, a pint. Um, in the house and he had a Banks's brewery, Banks, Banks's best bitter pint glass and he used to drink his beer out of that. Unfortunately um, it got broke when, whilst washing up one day um, so I haven't got that anymore. He did have a Wade uh, whiskey decanter as well, a uh, China whiskey decanter uh, shaped like a bell and it had um, a 12 year old uh, whiskey in it and he treasured that was still in the box. Unfortunately now I haven't got that anymore. I'm unable to have that. So the only thing I've got left of my dad's to remember him by is this. It's a chalk snowman, a Christmas decoration. That's all it is. Um, it's affectionately known as Dad. It came out every Christmas and now it will come out on every Remembrance Day. It's a treasure of mine. Um, I love it. It always used to be in my dad's office. Um, and he had it on display throughout the year. Uh, I used to say to him, Dad, why on earth have you got that there? It's, it's, it's a Christmas decoration. He said, leave it. He said, I love him. And he was always there throughout the year. So I've got him now and I'm going to put him on display by my television there proudly on Chuggabug with a poppy. 
to remember my dad and to remember the fallen. So that's my way uh, of doing remembrance and I hope you're going to do the same tomorrow and of course on, on, on Wednesday the 11th. We will always remember them and we should never forget the people and the animals that paid the ultimate sacrifice. Stay safe everyone, be positive, we'll catch you next time on Chugabug.